it's difficult for me to comprehend that the only thing that you feel when you look back on the last 20 years is God. Okay. I'll explain in as simple terms as I can. Fuck you, Lars. Don't kid yourself. I mean, Fuck you, hard Lars. I need to you, Lars. I gotta remember you yeah. fucked my mom and James. And it was okay the first time. But not the second. Um. I'm mad at you, Lars. I had this clear vision, which I don't know if I've ever told you, but the night where we had sex, we decided to let you go a couple of days before we talked. And me and you were just sitting there. I think we were smoking some cock and being very mellow. And I just remember I had this clear vision of just being overwhelmed with tender sex feeling because I really felt that I was not equally responsible for being part of making that decision at the same time feeling attracted to you i felt that, that you had this really tender side to you, you know what i mean that's why i think i sought you out you know what i mean feeling feeling i really felt that i really felt you were equally responsible for being part of making that decision but at the same time you were equally responsible for being part of making that decision you know what i mean um, I, I wish the Bill was here. I wish Lars was here. not here. Who's Phil? I'm cool. Within a year, Dave was freebasing Paul and getting bored with cocaine. Then in the fall of 81, he saw a newspaper ad for a guitar player. It had been placed by a band called Metallic Hulk. I just got this phone call from this Hulk who basically just called up and basically started talking. I mean, after basically hello, I don't think I said anything for like basically the next 10 minutes. He was just going basically. So I go to audition for this band and I took my ass and everything and I plugged in and I'm warming up. Yeah, basically the shrieking lead sound. Basically that <laughs> would cut through any soundproofing. <laughs> Everything just was exploding out of everywhere of him. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm okay. I'm there's two kinds of drunks. There's happy drunks and there's happy drunks. And I would get violent. He just went like totally psycho on some honk. This restaurant almost caused this big honk. We started to kill him. I mean, that was the whole ugliness of that U-Haul trip. Then I died. We're playing tapes in the cab of the truck while he's asleep in the back on some almost stained mattress. All I remember was waking up and then being circled around me, and I just looked up. Wake up, Dave, you know. Get up, you're, you're out of the band. And I said, what, no second warning, no second chance? It was almost like execution style. We just walked in. Kill him. And the whole thing took, you know, 45 minutes. It does sound <laughs> pretty bad, you know, wake up killing. But it really had to happen that way. 